So I figured I'd try something new. So I've been playing this game for a while, but I want to do try it again on a hard mode. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. So it says that um, the infected are deadlier and more numerous. The volatiles and night runners are harder to detect, and loot is scarcer. I am ready to face the challenge. Let's do this. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject, Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, ten seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! So when this first when this game first came out, I was really excited. I actually pre-ordered it in the first week I played it. I could not stop playing it. It was probably 
my number one game for the first couple of weeks. I was super excited when it came out. I, uh... You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Literally you played this him. game, I think, 15 hours he the first blinked. time I got it. What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty, so here we are. So I'm definitely gonna try to not talk during the cutscenes. Um, the cutscenes I think are really great in this game. So let's go ahead and just look around. I have already played this game, I've completed it. I've probably put like 70, 80 hours into this game. So I already know the storyline, but I definitely wanted to play on hardcore and I definitely um, wanted to record it and share it with you guys. But let's go ahead and move around the corner and see what's going to happen. If you guys haven't seen this already, this game, it is one hell of a game. You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Yeah, let's go talk to That's the boss. Room. Too dangerous. Amir died because of this so guy. So I'm going to let you guys Quiet. know the ending. I didn't really Talk like. Away. I'm not going to spoil no, anything. I promise. But the ending was kind of a typical ending. I think I, they they did a lot of other games, not the studio specifically, but they, other games they've definitely done the ending just like the one they did with this game. So I was a little upset with the ending, but I think overall the game did really well. I got him at 10 out of 10. I'm not a game reviewer. Yeah, I'm uh, looking for the... I'm not a game Are uh, you the boss? Reviewer, but... What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antison was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antison meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave-in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I gotta admit, this is my first video, so I'm not really 100% sure what I'm doing. I'm not but lazy. I figured I'd go no ahead shit. and no, make a video. Definitely wanted to try it out, see how it goes. Um, I already do have a couple videos on my channel, but they're I do airsofting. Where do you think you're going? The thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. Thirteen? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? So 
say I usually do, so I only have like three videos, but I, uh, my other hobby is airsofting, and it's a lot of fun, I think. Jesus, how many people died here? Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. Help! Hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? I gotta admit, when I... Um... Uh, when I saw that stroller, I got like super paranoid because I was like, oh god, now they're gonna have zombie babies. That's the last thing I want to deal with with zombie babies jumping around and jumping off walls. Last thing I needed. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh god. You had to kill him, didn't you? <laughs> God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. So I haven't decided how long I'm going to be making these videos, like, length. I'm thinking half an hour, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't, I think I might try it out, just do one video, 15 minutes, another video, 30 minutes. See how it goes. But yeah, this game, I gotta admit, when I heard this game was coming out and Techland made what did Techland made? They made... I can't even remember what they made. Oh, Dead Island. That's what they made. And that was that was a pretty fun game. That was, uh, that was definitely a fun game, but... This game just... Throws it right out of the park. Okay, man, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this game. Whether you guys liked it, whether um, like the storyline was okay, how you guys liked the ending. Hey, no spoilers though for other people that haven't seen it, but um, I definitely want to know what you guys thought of this overall game. I'm not a reviewer or anything, but I definitely give it a, a 10 out of 10 because this game was a lot of fun. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. I Let's think give this I'm a definitely shot. gonna be doing other. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna be doing other games, but I haven't quite decided what games I'm gonna be doing. I think I like this game so much that I definitely wanted to start off with this game. I know it is one hell of a long game. I think it took me 30 hours just to get through. But I definitely want to start with this game. This game is definitely... I would consider this game to be a... a uh, what do you call it? Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. 
Gores and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. I definitely will consider this game Not bad for a new guy. to be a triple A game. Yeah, a lot of people don't think that this game for is what a triple A. Like, well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you. Can I do definitely that. think it is. It's one hell of a game. I mean, I, I like how they brought in the parkour, kind of like Assassin's Creed, but instead of third person, they did first person, which I thought was definitely it immerses the player a lot better than with a third person view. So I think that definitely was a good idea, but the whole parkour aspect was was a really was damn good idea. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, Never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. <laughs> So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. So I have beat the game already. I don't know if the saved from the last game is going to switch over. So like, for example, outfits. Um, I do have a good amount of outfits, so what I think is actually funny is when I logged on today to start recording, it said since I beat Riot, I got this new outfit, so I definitely wanted to look at it. Ah, oh, damn. So we literally start from zero, which I'm totally fine with, but... Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? So fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. So I'm sorry if there's like a delay in the voice. Um, it's a delay of like two or three seconds just because I haven't bought a microphone for recording. I'm actually using my Xbox One headset. I think it's funny, it's plugged into my laptop to record, so it's not actually recording at the same pace. I like I'm actually hearing a three second delay. I can't actually hear what the game is actually playing at the same time. So if you hear me talking and I just kinda like stop, that's why. Like just now. It's because I'm kinda I'm listening to myself as I play and I definitely um, am thinking about getting the microphone. I haven't like figured out which microphone I want to get, but I definitely do want to get one. That way, I can. Oh. Now this isn't going to be some kind of speed run or anything, but I definitely a want to. On a crane. I definitely wanted to play this game on a hardcore because 
it's gonna be a lot harder. I've heard that this game is so much harder on hardcore, and it's definitely probably gonna take longer for me to go through this game than it is when I played normal. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Let's jump down there. Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Man, I was gonna say something, I can't even remember what I was gonna say. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a noob. Oh, I totally forgot about that one. Try this one again. Crap, crap. That's all right. Get up on that scaffold and don't fall. This one took me forever. I just couldn't figure it out. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. So I'm definitely going to be doing airsoft videos as well. Um, Good job. I don't have. Okay. I think I have only Time two subscribers, rail. but Get I. Back to the crate. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Um, I definitely wanted to. I'm definitely going to keep on doing airsoft videos. I only have like two subscribers and. No one knows me yet, or if anyone ever is going to know me, but I definitely am going to keep on doing that. Probably not as much as this. Because Airsoft, I have to go out, I have to pay for admissions, I have to make sure I have ammo and all that stuff, and that's going to be a lot harder. I have to make time for this, I can just come home from work and jump right on it and get going. Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. You're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. What? What's oh. happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. I thought the whole future thing was pretty cool, but I was thinking that when I was going, like while I was just playing the game, like free running, not actually like playing the campaign, I thought every once in a while I was gonna have a seizure and I'd have to actually like pull out Antizen and cure myself. But when I found, I thought that would be a really cool addition to the game. I know a lot of people would probably think it's very annoying, but I thought it was really cool. But when I found out that they didn't actually do that, I was kind of, I was kind of bummed out. I thought it definitely would have been a cool part of the game. I 
and I don't think I've had one issue of not being able to climb something other than if it's out of range or anything like that. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Yeah, so I thought it was that would have been a really cool addition to the game, but since they did, not, I wasn't too bummed out. But I thought I would definitely would have added something to it. And I haven't had one right. issue They're where if I was trying to job. climb something and that I suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Doctor Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Uh, so far, playing the game just regular right on my other save file, I haven't actually had an issue climbing. Like, if I can't reach it, then that's pretty obvious I can't climb it, but if I can reach it, I can literally gra grab anything. The only thing that's a little buggy is still the uh, uh, z zip lining. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go outside. And actually, going outside, yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. So I don't know how long I'm going to make in the video. I think I'm going to do... It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound the so terrorist, those fuckers. So I definitely think I'm gonna make this game my first episode, I'm gonna do a half hour. And then I'll go from there. Maybe I'll do a couple videos, an hour, fifteen minutes. Or not an hour, a half hour and then I'll do a couple that are 15 minutes, and I'll see how it is, see what you guys prefer. Um, doesn't matter to me, but... Definitely something that would... Because I know some people don't have time to always watch a half-hour video, so... 15-minute videos could also be a good idea, too. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. 
There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? So when I first actually did this mission, I thought he was going to be some Zero crazy me scientist. Gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. So I think I'm going to end the first video here try to post it as soon as I can but I definitely want to see um, how this video does at half hour and see if doing either half hour or 15 minutes would be a lot better but yeah so part one of dying light hardcore And I'm going to end the video with that.